Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald here, welcome back to our video, and look at this, I finally upgraded the uh, Raiden class passive a bit. I really don't like the Arcane class passive, and I've got it to level 5, and I'm still gonna need to do 10 specials in order to fully stack this, which is a huge amount of specials, considering I'm playing a character that never uses special in his normal gameplay. But yeah, this is actually kind of worth using whenever you're fighting some bosses that have high attack, and when we're fighting tier 5 bosses... This boss over here, like modifiers aside, is gonna have the highest amount of uh, attack out of all the bosses. Oh, also he's got overkill. Yeah, maybe we're not fighting that. Maybe we fight this guy. This guy also has high attack, but with this guy, he's gonna... I wanna get Scorpion killed to uh, do the North No Globe uh, uh, bug. And if I uh, do this against this guy, he might actually get right into a point where he is almost dead by hitting the other people so let's fight this man this one is also annoying to fight with clones because he's got that special too that might mess up the clones but uh, uh let's see how it goes and uh, against tier 5 bosses you're generally speaking gonna steal a bit more attack than usual it's actually gonna matter a bit so let's see Still, definitely not something you should prioritize with your resources. Because you don't want too many of them, but it's something that I went ahead and did anyway. Nope! Okay. No! Ah, that's fine, that's fine. Kill him again. Though we have only one more chance. But yeah, that clone got unlucky there. I'm not sure if I triggered the bug. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, I shouldn't have locked this. You get close after a special one. I would love if Dark Metal Cars reset it a bit. Okay, 2.1 after a special. 2.22. I'm only looking at the high values, 2.3. Oh, my bad there. Uh, I probably should do super move. Okay, we might as well do it while we are still using specials. Bro! Okay, somehow that worked. Okay, 2.7. 2.8.5 something. Yeah, I think we got the maximum amount, maybe. But boy, this takes so much time. Just think about how much time I wasted here, just doing that. And it's still, this is the best case scenario you're probably ever gonna get. Against tier 5 bosses in terms of the amount you're gonna steal with attack. It's not the best case scenario in terms of damage. I could be doing more damage, because we're not bypassing in any way this man's lethal resistance. So that's something that still actively hurts me. But you're not going to get more attack from the bosses. And yeah, the damage increase is quite decent. But it takes so much to get it. To the point where I feel like now, after I have a break with it, I'm... I messed up. Please, no, it reset my Dark Metal cards. Yeah, I messed up here at the end. Well, rip. But yeah, it's honestly, with a class passive upgraded and a boss that has a lot of attack, I feel like it's at the point where if I didn't do them and just did some basic hits instead in that time frame where I did special and the special animation was going, I think I would have ended up at the same amount of damage. So I'm really not sure this is worth it. But yeah, there you go. There's actually a damage increase if there's enough attack to be stolen. I think we were at 2 mil dot and it got us all the way up to 3 mil dot after... A bunch of specials.
Okay, so here I have Dr. Fates with level uh, 10 Sight for passive stats. We got King here with level 10 Dark Metal cards, and we got Black Adam. I was like, let's put a um, sort of salvation on that, because the power generation at the start will probably be a bit more valuable than uh, just having a level 1 artifacts additional worth of passive stats. Okay, we're kind of done with percentage all damage from Black Adam, but I'm still gonna use him for power generation a bit. Oh, I think I don't have fast attack chance on King. Ah, that sucks a lot for this fight. Or do I? No, I don't. Ah, uh, if you guys don't know the story, I had like two gears for King. I mean, not two gear sets, but two gears. Like, I think it was the hand gear. One of them had full fast actions, and one of them had full attack for, like, whenever I use pop it on him, whenever I use beta club on him. And that got shattered in the new math shatter feature because I forgot to lock it. You know, my king has no fast actions, and whenever I'm using him like this, though, I'm not doing that often. Kinda sucks. I don't think we kill this man, actually, considering that development. Because we're losing a lot of damage because of that. As well, super move here. Yeah, we're losing damage on basic kits and we're also losing damage on the third special. Bro, did you see him? Did you see him combo and dropping my ass? Is that thing that they introduced at some point for some reason and then didn't follow up with it? And I'm glad they didn't follow up with it where they wanted to make combo infinite combos not a thing anymore so whenever you reach a certain amount of combo the enemy will randomly interrupt you or it's still black adam bug this black adam had still a bug before the new black adam got released where you could get interrupted in the middle of his combo before that uh, last swipe attack and even though they changed his uh, move set a bit to kind of counter that i think that's still in the game a, a bit to an extent but yeah, this sucked. I, I, I didn't manage to clear this. It's one of those situations where I'm like, ah, let's use a weaker team so that I don't have to waste one of my powerful teams and then I'm gonna have to use a powerful team afterwards anyway. Well, rip. Let's move on. Okay, so here we have Blue Beetle with level 10 Dark Metal cards. Power Girl, because he's quite power hungry. He needs to do a lot of specials and um, Bane. And yeah, for example, Blue Beetle, because I was talking about Raiden, would be... Not a better character, because the tech passive is so much better, but would take better advantage of the arcane class passive. Because even though he's mainly doing basic hits, he is... ...going to do a lot of specials. Saving up for a third special here. Okay, I, I get panicked there a bit. I mean, we might as well tank super moves since we're here anyway, but a lot of times Blue Beetle backs himself too much after the um, uh, third special is gonna make the enemy do a jump attack, which is not ideal and can kill you. Oh, I got no fast attack hits from the third special. I guess we need at least one augment to take any advantage of that. Oh boy. 
No, 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 no. Did you see the, 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 the cat jumping on the chair? Yeah, I'm gonna blame that for the mess up. With no regret. Okay, let's let's start getting unhittable from now on, like as a rule. Always keep up unhittable because I'm very close to dying. I'm one mistake away from dying. Come on, Blue Beetle. Can we get can we get this? Can we kill this barely alive character? I know Dark Melkar is not the best artifact for Blue Beetle, but still. Might as well get this again. Actually, I'm not even sure I should be super moving now. It's, it's gonna give me damage, but it's gonna make me get far away from the corner. Oh, we need to do a special 2 again. The game's starting to lag a bit because there's too many values on screen. Yeah, I'm not gonna super move because I'll lose more damage by trying to get back to the corner, trying to get Dark Mellow cards here. Might as well do a third special here, and that's gonna be the last third special of the match. Come on, Blue Beetle, come on. We're not gonna do a third fight against this, a fourth fight against this man, actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's get it. Let's combo and chop here, bits. Oh, there we go, two seconds left. Oh boy, that was, that was way too close. And it would have been my fault, because I did save a few mistakes here. It would have been my bad if we didn't kill this, but boy, am I struggling to do 100 mil with my boy Blue Beetle. Basically, you have uh, Harley with Dark Metal cards. The guy with Scythe, and we got sort of Salvation, Girl, Supergirl, that should be an easy one shot here. Again, Harley doesn't get her lethal damage that she's got. Bro, I get so many comments about why you have crit chance and crit... We have crit chance and lethal chance on characters, since I'm like... Why do why do people why why it's so widespread that people think you can't have both at the same time or both don't trigger at the same time? I mean I understand asking why have lethal. So bad at combo and chopping after specials with Girl of Steel. I understand why people ask me why have lethal, because it's a bit harder than getting crit damage to get lethal damage, but why having both at the same time? That's kinda weird. That's kinda weird question. So, I guess it's understandable to an extent. I don't know if other games work differently. And I, I honestly don't know a game that has the, the crit chance and crit damage type of deals at the same time. Where you might get the situation where both of them don't work at the same time. Yeah, no idea where that comes from. Do we have enough for a second special? No. No, though another special one puts us, puts us at max stacks. I mean, I might as well generate a bit more power for a super move here. Not ideal because it pushes me from the corner position, but it's fine. Chill, buddy. Okay, a second special, but I'm starting to get scared of tagging against straight into a special because so many times it happens that. The, the, the command doesn't properly register and you get the delay in your special and you get blocked Be hardly in there again Another special too We're making good, good progress here Another one. Another special two. And this tagging should be the last one. Okay, let's do some jump attacks. 
I, I love Harley's jump attacks. I, I would love if she would jump like that on my face. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next fight. We here have John with uh, the uh, sight equip. Batman jumped with the cat killer and Robin King with the puppets. Why do I always do this? We have a level 10 puppets. Well, I can't wait to get this puppet at level 10 too, so it doesn't matter which one I equip. But yeah, let's get this going. Opening up with John because I don't want to risk getting hit at the start. Okay, guys, let's do the back off into a block, into a swipe at the start. Oh, I messed it up. It still kind of worked, but it, it was not what it was intended to do. Start using some third specials. Batman Drum is gonna deal a lot of damage here because she's stealing a lot of attack. And this guy does barely any damage with his hazard. Because we're reducing his attack, which is great. Okay, let's have John tank this. The Robin can tank it, can die afterwards, and we can revive him, but it's gonna be annoying to do, so we might as well skip that part. Might as well super move here. Bro, that dot damage is dealing like barely 200 damage to me. Like, that's nothing. Okay, block that. Keep this going. 63 mil, that's pretty decent. And now let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. And afterwards, I think we have one more fight. But yeah, let's see. And we got. Oh wow, Batman Jaharli. Nah, bro. And for the last fight, I was wondering if I can do with Beta Club Raven enough damage considering she's built as a tank currently. Like, she, she doesn't really have much recommending her towards being a damage dealer, but we're gonna have Beta Club on her, Brainiac here with Puppet, and then Classic Wonderman to give her a bit of crit damage. But yeah, I think the Brainiac Raven combination is strong enough to the point where I, I simply don't care. Oh, I could have just put the dark side though, as a third character. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with this and see how it goes. I need to tag in and out a bit to have a bit of power. Okay, got Raven special one, and we currently have two negative effects. Let's tag Raven in again because I feel like I'm gonna lose one. I'm gonna lose the bait club one soon enough if I don't tag Raven in. Okay. It's infinite power. Bro, chill, 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 chill. Bro. I mean, it still applied a negative effect at least. Uh, Brainiac, get back in. I must not lose darkness because then it will get kind of replaced by uh, puppet negative effects and I'll forget how many darkness stacks I have. Okay, 40 mil already and I haven't even had Raven super move and that boosts my damage quite a lot. Also, I might. Yeah, I'm done with lethal stacks. I should start spamming these special two now. Because that's a bit of a faster animation. And it stacks the puppet's negative effects more efficiently. Oh, 160 mil without even super move. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, 200 mil. There we go. Yeah, you can use Raven as a damage dealer even if she's not a damage dealer as a build. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike, dislike it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!